Are you struggling with climbing on your board, getting to your knees, standing up, and getting out there wing foiling? Today, we're gonna break it down, give you all the tips to get you up and living your best life. Welcome back, guys. Thank you so much for joining us again today. If you are at the point where you are learning how to wing foil and you are still struggling with how to get on your board and get up on your feet on your floating board, this video is for you. It's part of our onboard instructional video series where we bring you on the water. And today, it's very exciting also because we have Kelly. Uh, Kelly is going to be on the water with us so she can give you some tips and hopefully she just brings a different perspective. Uh, she went through the same struggles as we all did. Um, you know, when you first try to figure out how to get on your knees, how to balance while you're on your knees, and then the next step, how to get on your feet, on your bone. So why am I here? So uh, <laughs> Damien is still struggling with that. I can either start by going to my... So he's gonna be the, the what not to do example, uh, and we're gonna be able to show like what not to do. Hundred percent, hundred percent. Yep, that's it. I'm here. Just feel free to laugh, comment, leave your leave your. So let's get on the water and walk you through the process. Truthfully, the most important part that Gwen and I recommend, or anybody out there, truly is, you know, get yourself a large wing a board that has a lot of volume when you're first learning because that's just going to give you stability. It's going to give you more time to be able to stand on the board and master the balance and master the wing to get up. So we recommend high volume, you know, 100 liters all the way up to 140, 150 liters, just depending on your size. Um, I think we're around a 90 liter board right now, but we're a lot smaller and we have a little bit of skill. Um, so we're going to go through the process of laying down, going to your knees and then getting up. Now, as I'm walking out, my hand is holding the front part of the wing. So the wing is just feathered in the wind. It's definitely light out. So it'll be in and out of holes. So it's going to make it tricky. So when you're carrying the board out, I always like to keep the wing just nice and steady up high, just so it's not catching or flying around. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I have the board here, I have the wing in one hand, and I'm just going to slowly climb up on it. Now, most importantly is knowing which way the wind's blowing. So right now, uh, straight down wind would be this way, and obviously straight up wind right here is the wind. So I'm going to get on kind of sideways to the wind. What I would say is if you're unsure, your wing's always going to tell you where the wind direction is because it'll just weather vane in the direction of the wind. Okay. You can straddle the board and kind of to get yourself going, I can just sit here and I can kind of get myself nice and straddled on it so I can get comfortable with where I want to kind of taxi out to. And I'm always angled or I'm always turned sideways to the wind because we just want to make sure that I have tension in my wing. Okay. So I'm always looking up wind for, you know, where's that puff? Where's the wind going to start? So now I'm, I'm, I'm here waiting for some wind. So I got to get to my feet. So what am I going to do? I'm going to slowly either from my, from my straddling my board, I'm sideways to the wind. I'm going to slowly be patient, look for any puffs. You can kind of just add a little pressure into the back of your hand. And on a day like today where there's almost no wind and it kind of comes and goes, we always recommend an eight meter wing or seven meter wing or six meter wing. If it was one wing to choose for lighter winds, I always recommend probably around a six meter because then if it does get a little windy and you enjoy the sport, you have a good size. Those bigger wings can you know, be a lot when it gets a little bit windier. So a six meter is a good size to kind of get, get in the sport and get going. But um, eight meter wings can generate more power, want to be on a big foil, uh, 100% and then a high liter volume board. So 
Um, we're gonna go to my knees. So all I'm gonna do is try to be nice and balanced. So the goal is to be balanced on the board. It's always gonna be tippy. I can use one hand to basically help, help me being stabilized. Or I can also use the wing on the water to really be stable. Once I feel like I'm stable, I'm gonna reach for the front handle and I bring the wing above me. And now slightly apply some pressure on my back hand. So I start cruising and I go, my goal is to go 90 degrees to the wind or slightly upwind. There is different ways. Some people like to be a bit more twisted like that. Some people, I like to be straight on my knees. So see how my body is tilted and my, I'm not straight with the board. My knees and my feet are offset like this. That really helps me cut upwind when I'm first getting going. And now what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to turn my hips into the wind and guide that board into the wind so I actually can tack into the wind. So the more I can twist my hips and then I can feel the pressure in the wing and I wait potentially for a puff and then all I would do is I feel the pressure, my board's starting to move. I'm literally just going to slowly put a little more pressure on my back hand to put a little pressure into the wing. I get my one foot forward, my left foot up, and I'm nice and balanced. I'm not making anything drastic. My front arm is extended, um, mainly because I'm trying to capture as much wind as I can. And then I'm going to slowly go to my feet. And now the goal is to be balanced on your wing board. Now, if I start to tilt backwards, I want to add a little pressure with my back hand on the wing to generate some pull. Vice versa, if I start to go forward, I want to sheet out that wing so that I, you know, lose that power so I don't fall. Now, what's really important is angling your board or driving my back leg into the wind. I put a bit maybe more pressure on the back foot to make sure I don't go downwind, but I don't want to go too far upwind either. If I go straight facing the wind, what happens is I lose my speed, I'm not moving, so then I put some, I move my wing forward and I put more weight on my front foot and now I start going downwind. I don't, I don't want to go downwind so much, so I try to go 90 degrees to the wind. A lot of people get up and going and they just end up going straight downwind. Now, if you're always kind of arcing or turning the board more into the wind, you can wait for that power to kind of fill into your wing and then you can crack off easier to get up on the foil. So ideally, I'm just kind of leveraged into the wind right now because I'm waiting for the power to kind of come into my sail, my wing, so that I know that when I start to pump, I only have a few pumps to actually be able to get up and go. Right now, I have more pressure on my back heel because I'm trying to go upwind a little bit while I'm just kind of cruising, waiting for a wind gust. Definitely easier with more wind. Um, so I'm waiting, so I've got a little more pressure on my back foot. It's also gonna help me with like popping the front of the board off the water when I wanna get up on foil. But it's important that as soon as you feel that front come off the, the water, that you shift your hips forward back over the front foot. Another important tip is, since I have volume in the board, sometimes it's hard to get up on the board. So you can actually use your arm, it's called a tripod, and you leverage it against your forearm. Now, what that does is it gives me the ability to <coughs> put the trailing edge in the water, leverage on the front of the wing, and actually use my wing as like a tripod. So I can literally sit here, get my balance on my board by just pushing down on my, my kind of forearm, we'll call it, and all it does is it's getting me balanced on the board so I'm standing before I grab the, to grab the wing. Now the hardest part here is bringing that wing above your head nice and slowly so I can get that back handle. That's the hardest part. Now once I get the back handle, I'm just nice and balanced. I've got my legs bent. I'm not standing straight. When I'm super straight, I'm gonna tip over. So my legs are bent. I'm angled into the wind. Very important to drive your back foot into the wind. Now, when I feel the power, I'm gonna increase that back arm 
and it's gonna turn the board. Watch this, here we go. Increase my backhand, the whole board is turning. It's actually pulling me downwind. So remember, if I can steer that board up, generate the power, get ready, I'm gonna get that speed going, and I'm just gonna let the board lift itself in just little baby movements. Now, the second the board lifts, I let off a little power. We always have a stance, we call it regular or goofy, meaning what you know, foot goes back, what foot goes forward. There's always one way that feels better. So right now, I am riding goofy, but really regular is more my side. So I will, you guys will have more of a hard time one way, and that is totally normal. But you still gotta practice both ways. So hopefully we covered all the important tips to help you take it to the next level, get up, start enjoying this sport, making your life easier. Hopefully these tips and tricks can really get you to that next level and get you going. So this is our onboard series. Tune in, there's plenty more of these coming. And if you haven't watched them, there's more behind. So until then, we appreciate you guys. Yeah. Gwen does all this hard work. I just stand here, so that's pretty much what happens. But we really appreciate you guys. Please leave your uh, comments, um, anything that can help uh, you put in the comments so that we can put something together and hopefully we can uh, maybe help make your life a lot easier. Yeah, we, we always love to hear from you guys and the struggles that you are facing. So, you know, maybe we can help you just by replying to a comment or if a lot of comments are like the same struggle, then we will make a video. So please let us know. It's always like, it's a community. So like hearing other people that are going through the same process is always a bit reassuring that, you know, um, we, you are not alone in that process of trying to figure it out. It's definitely not an easy process. So uh, coming up soon, we will have uh, how to get up on foil, which is, I know, struggling uh, that's such a hard it's, one it's something that everybody struggle with so that should be very helpful for you guys so stay tuned subscribe so you know when that video is coming out and we see you next time